Okay, you know how the saying goes, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So this week I thought that we would chat about apples, apple trees, the benefits of apples. There are so many, they're chock full of vitamin C. So if you can incorporate them into your diet every day, it's great. It's a great immune booster. Um, vitamin C is just really, really good for us. And especially this time of year, it's the first day of fall. Um, and so, yeah, we're honing in on flu and cold season. And I just think getting a lot of vitamin C in your diet is really beneficial. So apples are great for that. There are lots of things that are great for that, but apples are available right now. Um, so I've been fighting my dog all morning, picking them off the ground and picking them off the tree. And he actually picks them off the tree. We have bears that come in our yard and eat them. So I need to get them taken care of. Um, anyway, so the benefits are so many. You can eat apples if you are, um, they can be binding and they can also be laxatives. So if you're wanting, it's always a good thing. It's, I think it's one of the things that's in that brat saying, right? It's like um, bread, rice, apples, I forget the other, toast. Um, and so apples are good if you've been, if you've had some stomach stuff going on, but you want to peel them and, you know, maybe sauce them or grade them up if you're wanting them to be binding. If you're wanting an apple to be fibrous and help you get things moving in your body, then you want to eat the whole apple, skin included. The skin is also really great dried for any um, like rheumatoid arthritis. If you can incorporate a cup of warm tea using the dried skins of apples every day into your life, that will be beneficial. It's beneficial if you have joint pain or aches, things like that. So. Um, this is just like the tip of the iceberg. Apples are great for diabetics. They're great for um, balancing blood sugar. They're really great for, you know, if you're trying to lose weight, like drinking some apple cider, cider vinegar every day can help to satiate your appetite. Um, apple cider vinegar is crazy. Apple cider itself, super easy to make. Um, in this house, we make a lot of applesauce, a lot of apple pie filling. We just have so many apples every year. So the um, just trying to put them all to good use is kind of our goal all the time. So yeah, we um, make cider. And this last year, we actually made hard cider, which was so fun. So we're doing that again, because it was delicious. We just used the natural yeast in the apples to um, make it happen, so. It was really fun and tasted delicious and not too sweet. So we're doing that again. I've never made apple cider vinegar myself, but it's really easy to do. It just takes a lot of time. Um, you just have to let it sit for a long time. So I have this book that I love. It's this Rosemary Gladstar and Friends book. So there are recipes in here for like fire cider and different things like that, but that has apple cider in it, apple cider vinegar in it. Um, so there's a really cool recipe for making your own apple cider vinegar in here. Um, this book is just really neato. It has so many fun facts and tips in it and Rosemary Gladstar is like an old school herbalist so it's kind of fun to find her recipes and um, just learn from her. Anyway, um, apple cider vinegar is something that I wanted to chat with you about really quick because there's so many benefits to incorporating it into your routine. Um, it's really high in potassium, so as a person who dislikes bananas, it's a good substitute. Um, potassium is great at pr promoting cell and tissue growth, and um, so many new studies have been done. If you just Google apple cider vinegar and the benefits of it, you'll, you'll be shocked. There's so much. So just a few things that you can do with it that I wanted to share are, you can add apple cider vinegar to your bath to help lower your fever if you have a fever. Um, you can also gargle a little bit of it if you have some, uh, if you have a sore throat, you can mix it with some warm water and some sea salt and maybe even honey if you wanted to gargle it. Um, you can drink it if you have a stuffy nose because it's actually really good for thinning mucus. Um, if you have stomach issues, it's not a bad idea to drink a little bit of apple cider vinegar before you have a meal. And then even if you have heartburn, it might be a good idea to sip it mixed with warm water during your meal. So in between bites, I guess. Um, it's a really awesome hair rinse. 
It is a great fungal infection buster, so you could use it mixed with a little bit of tea tree oil and maybe even some distilled water and create a spritz. And like if you have athlete's foot or something, you could spray right on your foot. If it's too stingy, because it is, you know, it'll be a little acidic, you'll maybe want to add a little bit more um, water to the mix and spritz it on. Um, sunburn, it's really great for sunburn, so you can mix it with water and spray it on a sunburn. If you have sunburn on your shoulders, it's a nice um, calmer for that. Uh, there's so, there's so much research that's been published on apples and the benefits of them, medical research and, and otherwise. Um, yeah, so like historically, that's where the saying comes from because it is so good for you to um, incorporate it into your everyday life. And so I'm gonna go back to picking apples off the ground before my dog eats them all and before uh, the bears come back tonight or this afternoon. Um, yeah, so apples, apple a day. <laughs>